What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're outside, out front here with the cars. As you can see, my car over there, brother's car over here, and my brother's here. How you doing? And it's his day off and I just got off of work and got home and I'm too excited and I can't wait. I got a package in the mail and I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna install it right now. So anyways, I don't know if you guys watched the last video on the channel. If you didn't, go check it out. Uh, it's kind of the paint reveal video on my car. And I did mention last video that I did want to do some kind of livery on the car. Nothing crazy, but uh, it actually came through today. So a uh, huge shout out to Victor. I'll link his Instagram in the description below. And I'll put his Instagram on the screen right here as well if I can. But huge shout out to him. He reached out to me actually. And because I posted a while back that I wanted to do a livery on my car uh, on Instagram. And he actually reached out to me and hit me up and said he can print out pretty much whatever i want for my car and that's exactly what he did i sent him some ideas and he sent me some ideas back and went back and forth and we decided on it's a super simple livery but it's definitely going to match the era of the car and the style that i'm trying to go for on this car 2004 um, magazine spec yeah like old option videos 2004 early 2000s you know like yeah, basically just the early 2000s style of like drifting show, in Japan. Like the these cars that were at you know, Tokyo Auto Salon in 2005. Yeah, exactly. Like those old school Japanese drift cars, the super simple ones. Oh, um, I did get a new decal yesterday. Yeah, so I put the WWV op decal on my windshield yesterday. I got that one in the mail yesterday and I got the rest of the decals today. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the decals and we'll just start taping them to the car, laying it out in the in the layout that I want and start taping them down. And hopefully it's gonna look sick. I'm super excited. Here's the decals right here. I think it's gonna match this car perfectly and I'm super excited. So let's stop talking now and Let's start putting some decals on. We just gotta make sure it's straight. We'll, yeah. we'll tape everything up to the car first. Yeah, exactly. So we're probably gonna tape everything to the car first, uh, kind of straighten everything out, get it set up. What happened? Regular side on that side, correct? Yeah, we're gonna put, so yeah, so I got regular font for one side and then I got a mirrored font for the other side. And most of the stickers kind of have like the italicized going that way. So I figured I'd just put the regular at first, what I wanted to do, because uh, I noticed a lot of cars that have that style have the Japanese driver's side where you can actually read it, and the U.S. driver's side, the mirrored side. But I'm going to do it opposite just because you can see right here the sticker. This is the main sticker for the livery. Sexy style angles, for my body kit. It angles like towards that way. Yeah, exactly. So, so the, it flows better on the that The italics side. on the letters and are if, towards the back of the, the car. If the Japanese driver's side was the correct side to read, then the U.S. driver's side is the correct side to read. Yeah. We'll do it for your region. Or the exactly. Or Boom. So we're going to lay this on here, figure out where exactly we want it at. I figured... You want it closer to the back more? Um, definitely above this body line, I'm thinking. Yeah. Somewhere I don't know how high up I want it, though. We're going to have to do some but, cuts. And... Yeah. Actually, so what we're going to do, I'm going to go through this and kind of tape them all down. And then once I figure out the layout that I want, I'll set up the camera and show you guys how we're going to put these on here. Obviously, we need to clean the surface and everything first. So, uh, yeah, let's figure out where we're going to get them at first. And then I'll, I'll update you guys on that. All right, guys. So I went ahead, laid them out. Uh, in the format that we want to do as straight as possible. We're not really measuring, we're kind of just eyeballing, um, which could kind of come around to bite us in the ass later, but I guess we're gonna, we're gonna see. So, <laughs> um, but I mean, it's pretty straightforward. There's only three stickers, but um, this one is like the grocery list. So brands coming down the door. We got Garage Star, D-Max, Old Bride logo to match my Zeta, Ganador, obviously, because I have Ganadors old logo nismo just because i like nismo and part shop max because it's the coilovers uh garage star like i said the seat rails and d-max obviously with four mats and stuff sexy style the biggest logo on the car because that's the kit that's on the car so i figured i'd just make that um the biggest logo and if you guys ever seen the old school uh sexy style cars from the early 2000s they always had the big logo on the side like that i just like how that looked and then how that looked and then obviously work because i have works those aren't works those are works but 
Nobody needs to know that, right? So real works. Yeah. And you put the work sticker right next to the fake works. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I literally put the logo next to the fake ones. Hey, and take your eye away from the right. fake ones, and you just have the real ones up there. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get something to set the camera up on now, and maybe windy, get a little. Though, so. Yeah, it's kind of windy, but hopefully we can get a little time lapse of us laying these stickers down. Okay. Honestly, I'll probably just tilt it against that bottle. So, all right, so. Next scene you'll see is a time lapse. We'll catch up. Alright, use my Chipotle gift card as a squeegee. Alright, All right, so here it is. So um, I had a little bit of trouble on the front here with the two body lines uh, right here where the Nismo logo is and where D-Max is. There's these two body lines. Um, but what I did, I just ran a razor blade across them because what was happening was I would peel it up, but there is like a gap between the actual panel and the sticker right here. Probably used and gun. yeah, I probably could have used the heat gun for it, but it was easier to just run a razor blade, razor blade across and realistically you can't even tell unless you get like super close up there you can see there's a line but what that did is it allowed it to actually lay flat on the panel because what i didn't want to happen was dirt get under there and then the whole sticker has to come off because then the dirt will just start you know messing up the edges of the stickers especially driving at grange with all the dust out there i didn't want anything to get under the sticker and cause the sticker to get messed up but yeah as you can see um it looks pretty good i got it in chrome uh, I really need some chrome wheels now to match, but uh, for now, I think it looks pretty freaking good. And obviously, Garage Star, I went through all the brands earlier, um, and it looks amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. Like I said, the other side is a mirrored um, image, so basically all the letters are going to be backwards. Um, some of you guys might think that's weird, but it's kind of like a style. It's a style thing from the early 2000s, those old option cars, they had the one of the sides mirrored uh which was their passenger side uh which would technically be the side that i just put on but since i'm 
on that side, like I said, I'm gonna do it flipped on this side and uh, it should be pretty good. So I'm not gonna time lapse that or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw those on right now. And then I'll do a little walk around of both sides and let you guys see it. Yeah, so anyways, I'm super excited that these came through and I can't wait to see it all completed and to go to the next event with a full livery on the car. So anyways, let's get it done and then I'll catch you guys up when I'm done. All right, so the passenger side is officially complete and uh, I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now, like I said, mirrored vinyl on this side. There it is. So as you can see, same vinyl, exact same everything, except this side is mirrored. So everything's backwards um, or mirrored, like I said. So yeah, it looks pretty sick. Uh, like I said, it's one of those style things. You guys might think it's weird, but a lot of the cars of this era uh, with the style that I'm going for had one mirrored side and then one regular side. So that's gonna be my passenger side and my driver's side. And like I said, vinyl's exactly the same. It's just mirrored. I've said it a million times already, so I'm gonna stop saying it, but I think it looks amazing. Um, honestly, the Millennium Jade paint with the chrome vinyl looks so good. Uh, I just need to get some nice three-piece wheels now. So if anybody out there has some SSR Vienna Courages, get some chrome XT7s. you know, it's chrome XT7s, get some TEs and polish them. Yeah, eventually, maybe one day when I have a million bucks. But yeah, anybody got some nice uh, three-piece wheels in SoCal, hit me in the comment section because your boy needs some, some nice chromies to match his livery now. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's pretty much the whole video. This guy over here is making another video right now, so you guys will see this in a different video. Probably uh, end of the week. End of the week, yeah. This one will probably go up on uh, maybe Friday, a Friday or a Saturday because today's Thursday, but I have a really slow laptop. So editing it and posting it takes edit like a day. So yeah, I can probably edit it on his. Make, we're gonna make an edit right here. Stay tuned. There's gonna be some sick B-rolls right now yeah. too, dude. Hell yeah. So uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, we're gonna make a sick edit. Some nice hand shaky B-rolls with my iPhone. But I think it'll be cool. But anyways, that's the car now. So uh, one more time, walk around for you guys. I know I've done it a million times, but I'm really excited. Huge shout out to uh, Victor on Instagram. Uh, like I said, his Instagram is going to be in the description. So if you guys need any vinyl work, he ships it. Um, he was not local to me, uh, so he did ship it to me. So he is down for that. And I know he's trying to get his vinyl thing off and going. So uh, if you guys need any vinyl work, anything he designs, he cuts he ships he prints he does it all so if you guys need anything be sure to go down in the description check out his instagram and he can get you guys his car with a sick ass livery on it like mine so but yeah so one last little walk around real quick my new v op sticker got the nismo old logo heart got my new livery and uh yeah mirrored on the other side and i love it it looks real nice but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, I might have a little edit after this. I'm gonna get some b-roll real quick, but I'll do the outro right now If you guys enjoyed the video be sure to go down leave a like um, Subscribe if you want to see more of my car I hate being that guy asking for subscribers all the time But you know we love to see the support and honestly the more you guys support us the more we're gonna want to post right we so respond to everyone's comment. Yeah, we do love the we actually do I'm, I'm on top of it. If you comment I'll, I'll respond to your comment yeah. in five minutes okay? and that's the thing too is we both have full-time jobs so we're at work when we're not doing this shit. So when we're responding to your guys' comments down there, most of the time we're probably at work. And so if we don't get back to your comments right away, we will eventually, but we're probably busy and, you know, working. But, you know, I would like to make more videos for you guys, but, you know, it's hard when you have a full-time job and when you're, especially when you're doing car shit like this, because this is not cheap. So all this stuff is, you know, obviously it costs money to do this. And that's why I have a full-time job. But yeah, enough of that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.